Hey guys, welcome to the show today. We're checking out not one, but two radiation detection devices. This one even does nuclear radiation. Now we don't have any power plants, nuclear power plants over here in Australia yet. They were thinking of building some, but they've nixed the plans for now. But these guys, they also detect electromagnetic energy. So we get a nice electric vehicle. We're gonna be seeing how it performs with these two different devices. And it'll also be fun to see how much actual radiation, nuclear radiation there is just ambiently <laughs> around the environment. Hopefully it's gonna be good. So let's open them up, check them out and see how they perform in an EV. All right, so let's fire up the first one for Nursi. And we are getting normal levels around the car. The great thing about this device is it does give you a gauge. So we can see that we're on the green. So that means according to this device, it is safe. So walking around, getting 13 volts per meter square. It's all normal in an electric and magnetic stage. And for nuclear radiation, no point. What's triple zero, no point. 1.5 is what we're getting here. So outside of the car, everything seems to be good. Gonna step inside and the door is open. Everything is good over here. You see, we're still getting some nice low levels. So we're in the car right now and uh, it's generally very, very, very low, very, very low. It's all right in the middle, the gauge. So there is no alarms or anything like that going. The car is stationary, it's not moving. We're gonna be doing a driving test and a charging test to see if that affects things. But so far, so good. So that is good according to the nuclear radiation device. Switching over now to the ERD-10, which only does electric and magnetic radiation. And once again, we're getting very, very low levels, zero on the magnets. One, one six, no point. A lot of zeros right there. Everything looks to be good on the outside of the car. Gonna be stepping into the car and seeing what values we get, but generally there's no alarms or anything tripping up. So on both these devices, when the car is stationary, ambient levels of electric volts, magnetic energy. Now these aren't radio frequency devices so we're not going to be testing the wi-fi or all of the bluetooth and all of the 5g bouncing around in this vehicle this is purely the voltage and the magnetic intensity so now to make things interesting we're going to start charging the car to see how it affects things so we can see that the car is charging up and the alarm is going and it's only when you're really close that's when we're getting the alarm on the radiation device, the nuclear one. Let's see how it affects. And we are, look, it's completely red down the bottom there. So it's fully maxed out when you're close. But when you're about half a meter away, it seems to be back in the safe levels. Gonna step inside. These door handles are awful, by the way. It does seem to be very, very low. So it only seemed to spike up when you was really close to the charging port. So I'll go show you that again. When you go here, so it goes back up to red. So it's only when you're close, but of course this is only the 10 amp charger. So maybe if you're using the Supermax charger, that's when the field might get bigger. All right, so we are now officially driving. I'm in the back seat closest to the motors with my little homies. What's up, homie number one, homie number two. And we're gonna be testing out the first, the nuclear radiation detector. And uh, you excited? You gonna see what's gonna happen? Yes, I am so excited. <laughs> to find out. Now we are rolling. So yeah, it seems fine on the back here. There's nothing being beeping off. Everything is on the yellow. The signals are very low. So I was actually a bit concerned about seating in the back, but according to this device, everything is good so far. All right, so we picked up a bit of speed. As you see there, we're going 70. So we're on the second device here and it's very, very low three two everything looks green we are just survived a roundabout obviously my partner's driving here so that is probably the scariest part <laughs> of the drive itself <laughs> not the readings coming up here <laughs> she likes driving fast this one <laughs> got places to be <laughs> all right everyone's happy you're all good we got some good results here everything's on the green there was no alarms tripping up so you're, you're happy you're happy and little one number two you're happy Yep. So this is a multifunctional radiation detector, nuclear radiation detectors. We sports nuclear radiation detecting EMF, 
high precision Geiger counter and it's got an audio and visual alarm. 1500 milliamp battery so it's just charged using the type c cable very very fancy presentation lots of information as you can see here you know just be careful where you're going it, it doesn't support a fire so let's look at the device and let's see what's in the box got a nice sticker here it says it's got qa approved so it's gonna be highly accurate we got manual here to tell you exactly what's going on. But first up, let's check out the device. So the device looks very, very fancy. This is the charging point right there. We've got sensors around the back here and the top power button there. And this is the controls over here. This is the electromagnetic radiation detector ERD10. As you can see, EMF strength, EMF strength, radiated power, ambient temperature sensor. So let's open up, see what it looks like. As you can see, it's got that Q a approved sticker right there so we know we're getting high quality gear professionally packaged over here as you can see on the right here is the usb-c port to charge it up got some controls here and that is pretty much it so i have to charge this up soon let's turn it on erd10 so english boom straight away it is up and running so what do you guys think of these radiation detector devices i do love that this one also does nuclear radiation detection obviously i don't need it right now but one day might be very very useful especially if they start building those plants which they're gonna need for ai gonna take over the world and uh generally this one does electromagnetic radiation with some nice fun tests of course remember these guys don't do radio frequency so check out other detectors for that but for electric magnetic radiation and even nuclear radiation let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show.